All right, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create special transition effects just without any downloads, any plugins. All we're going to do is we're going to look for those little black and white Luma MET files that way we can find on places like pixabay.com where we can download free stock video files and we're just going to get started. Let's see how we can create that effect. First of all, we're going to do is we're just going to go to the website like pixabay.com. This is a really great place where you can find really good stock video footages. And we're going to look for a keyword called transition. Here you can also use other keywords such as black and white or shapes and things like that. There are plenty, um, but here I think I found what I want in uh, under the transition, such as this black and white little brush effects. And I'm also going to use this um, little effect called ink alpha matte. All right, so I'm just I'm um, just gonna download those files. I will put up the link in the um, description below. All right, now that we've downloaded the files, let's get started in Adobe Premiere. To start, I'm just gonna go to File New Sequence, and I'm just gonna use the DSLR 1080p 25 because that's the files that I downloaded. The size are 1080p. And um, to start with, I'm just gonna bring in the video files onto the timeline first. So you can make in and out if you want to by just pressing I for in point, O for out point as you like. And just gonna drag just the video file alone. So I'm gonna drag from the from this little icon. You can drag the whole thing, including the audio if you need the audio, but in my case, I don't really need the audio. I'm just gonna bring just the video file alone to the timeline. And I'm gonna press plus keys on the keyboard to make it a little bit longer. And I'm gonna drag this a little bit higher so that I can see the, see the track quite clearly. And for the second clip, which I'm going to transition into, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to set in point here. I'm going to drag a little bit further. I'm going to set an out point there. I'm just going to drag by this icon because I only want the video and just going to drag it on the, onto the track three. Notice that I left the track two alone. I didn't want to touch the track two yet. And I'm just going to try to point it about here. And I will leave a bit of overlaps there so that I can have a bit of a transition coming in. Now we're ready to bring the transition files. So just let's take a look at how the transitions file will look like. The first one we have is this little brush stroke effect. I think from start to end, it has that um, from black to white point. So I'm not going to set any inner point there. Um, I'm just going to drag the whole video right here. Notice that it's a little bit long. So I'm just going to reposition it a little bit to readjust that and make sure that you have all the videos basically overlapping everything. All right. One thing, very important thing is that you will want to hide this layer or the track there because we don't want to um, display this track when we are actually doing the edits and things like that. So we're just going to click on the little eye icon on the video track to turn it off. OK, now we're ready to make the transition. So now we're actually going to apply this effect called set met to this architecture video above. Notice that these videos are also downloaded from Pixabay. Again, I will give you the link in the description. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to look for the effects panel there. If you can't see the effects panel, just go to window and look for effects right there. It should be here. And in the search box, I'm just going to look for the word called set met. And as you can see that set met is right here. I'm going to drag and drop onto the, the layer that's on top of here, the track here. All right, notice that changes nothing because we need to change the effect that. So to do that, I'm just going to double click on the video file, go to effect controls on the panel here. Again, if you can't find the effect controls, you can find under window, the effect controls are here. You can press shift five on the keyboard. Under there, you can see that set met right now. What we need to change, as you can see that, take met from the layer video three. Our video actually is on the video channel two. So we're going to change that video three to video two. Notice that nothing changes yet because currently use for matte is set to alpha channel. We're actually using black and white matte. So they don't actually have alpha. Instead, we're looking for what is called Luma. So Luma basically here is um, shown as luminance, which is bright is um, where the effects will be shown. And dark is where the effects will be hidden. So the moment we change the luminance, you should start seeing the effects appearing here. And in fact, your transition is done. Um, if you watch that here, I can see the effects right there. All right. However, notice that the effects disappear once the transition or the, the track below disappeared there because this layer or this track is still looking for the set matte video, which no longer exists. 
So in this case, a quick fix is to basically bring the cursor there and I'm just going to cut this video into two pieces and I'm going to remove the set met from this side. Let's see how we can do that. First of all, I'm just going to use the little razor tool. You can press C on the keyboard to pick up the razor and bring it over here. Click it once to cut it into two pieces. Now I need to change back to the move tool. So make sure that you select the move tool or press V on the keyboard. And I'm going to click on the uh, second part of this video file. And that's where I'm going to select the set met. I'm going to just press delete on the keyboard. And that's it. Your transition is done. And I'm going to press render to um, render the effects in and out. As you can see, there's a bit of a little red line. So that means my video is not going to play well. But after rendering, it's going to come out really smooth. As you can see, that is really, really simple, straightforward effect there. All right. I'm going to demonstrate one more time again using a different transition. This time around, I'm just going to use the um, same video architecture um, on the third track and also the car video at the bottom track. However, I'm going to use the, this transition file called transition 19427 that I downloaded from the Pixabay, which looks like that. Take note, this transition file has three different portions. You could actually set in and out on any of these segments and use whichever part that you like. Um, so it looks really cool. So I'm just going to use the first part where I have set I for in here and I'm going to set O for here. All right. So that's where this is the little portion that I'm going to use. Notice that it's pretty small. I'm going to press the plus key on the keyboard to make it look a bit bigger and I'm going to bring the architecture up there. All right. Same drill is going to happen. So I'm going to go to architecture layer or the track. I'm going to tra drag the set mat on, on the architecture. And I'm just going to go back to the effect controls on the on the on the panel here. Same drill. I'm just going to change the video to two because that's where my um, track met video is and then change the alpha channel to luminance. And you can see that effects already appearing there. However, there might be a few issues there. As you can notice that the hand sort of appears first, which is supposed to be the other way around. Um, this is quite easily fixed because you can just click the invert met icon on there. And then that will actually invert which one comes first. So now the transition is good and I can see the effects going pretty smooth right there. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is William Ong and I hope to see you in the next video.